So I'm joined by Polina Shuvalova in the press center. Your second win in the tournament, but more importantly, it seems you left behind this bad streak of, of losses. How do you feel after defeating uh, Alexander Kostinyuk today? Yeah, I, I hope so. And uh, yeah, today I feel nice, uh, uh, especially yeah, winning the game after the after the strike. Uh, and yeah, it feels like now I'm playing like a new tournament. So it was quite, um, say it, um, pleasant game for me as I had an advantage from the opening. Uh, she played this knight h5 line, which is quite popular. But uh, then she played e6, which is not the idea of the line. The idea is to play g6 and try to um, to go with the bishop on c to g4 or mm -hmm. f5. Then I had a pawn, I had a clear advantage. But then somewhere I messed up because when she, when I played b4 and she played bishop g7, I don't know if I had a move here because uh, she wants to take on b4 and take on d4 and take on b5. So uh, I think I messed up already and b takes if I was also, I think, a mistake because mm -hmm. after this only black can be better, I guess. And knight b3, knight d4, yeah, I was a bit missing the guideline of the game. And then, but you found f5 there. It was a very interesting idea. Yeah, actually, I was already uh, understood that if I will stand for some more moves, I will be just bad. So f5, uh, I was, uh, yeah, at first I didn't like e takes f5 because g takes f5 there and knight takes f5. At least I have some, some play. Uh, as you said, maybe she should go there. Uh, I don't know, uh, but uh, yeah, takes a five was quite obvious. Um, but this end game, which I found, uh, takes and c six and a five is just uh, it looked very dangerous for her. And I think the maybe mistake was when she played rook e six, allowing me to play it before and grab the second pawn. She should have played rook c eight. I will play, I think, knight d four and uh, try to go with the king, king of eight. And mm -hmm. maybe I'm not in time to play all the things like a, a6, mm -hmm. a7, knight c6, rook b1, mm -hmm. king g2 I should play as well because of bishop a7, rook a1, she will have bishop f2 check. So yeah, I should, I will have an advantage, advantage there, but not like winning. But after rook a6, knight b4, well, d4, a6, and uh, just, I think, hopeless for her. Okay, so you say it's hopeless and it looked very convincing the way you won, but she found this funny rook c7, king b7 check resource. Did that worry you at any moment? Did you have any doubts or you knew that this was going to be a win and there were several ways of doing it? No, after taking on a7, I knew it's just hopeless, all these kind of positions. Um, and yeah, rook c7 is a nice resource, but when I found king before, I understood that it's it's still hopeless. It doesn't change anything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's even I think winning a seven, king b seven, king d five, but then she will have rook d two. If I have my rook on a one on or rook on a two there, uh, I think it will be also completely. But winning. you put the rook on a one. You could yeah. have chosen your square. Yeah, she can have this counterplay, but uh, king b four is much better. I think. Yeah. So, my last question today for you, Paulina. I did notice in my database that um, in the past, Alexandra, although being a fabulous player, has been a rather good player for your results. Do you, have you an explanation why you're scoring so heavily against her? Maybe because of the style of play? Any other psychological reason? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I should point that I think it's more about classical games because in Bliss and Rapid, uh, she, I think she beat me like in the world championship in the rapid. So yeah, but she's a good blitz and rapid player. Mm -hmm. Well, in classical, I don't know, maybe it's about the style or uh, I, I was not really thinking about that. She was playing very well here, especially with the black pieces. And today she repeated black. Was that a worry for you? Or are you just trying to find your form and play as best as possible and whatever happens, happens? Yeah, we noticed that she scored like three wins with the black and uh, that she is very well prepared in this tournament. 
Um, so I decided to play London System, which I uh, didn't play here and which I don't play much, mm -hmm. I, I can say. So this came, I think, as a surprise for her. And so that is why I, I get the advantage from okay. Well, it worked out. So congratulations and good luck in your last uh, three games. Thank you. Thank you.